Both the San Francisco Estuary Institute and the Danish government are deploying drones and autonomous technology to identify and remove pollution in public waterways. By analyzing tens of thousands of drone images in the cloud, it now takes less time and less money than running these analyses using on-premises server clusters. The pressure is on governments and environmental institutions to create and deploy new and cost-effective solutions quickly. What are some of the challenges that you've seen at the San Francisco Estuary Institute with accelerating the performance of your on-premises computing resources? And how is the cloud addressing that? The San Francisco Estuary Institute is a nonprofit. We have very limited resources capabilities. The main uh, benefit that we get is the scaling and parallel computations. On top of that, here in California, we've had issues with uh, power outages. Resources that we've been using, we're able to maintain um, uptime throughout the whole duration. That was a nice benefit, especially with all of us working from home. It solves a lot of issues that we wouldn't be able to do our work without. What are the benefits that Oracle brings Connecticut in running your platform? Oracle offers a great variety of state-of-the-art shapes with hardware, especially in partnership with NVIDIA. So the latest uh, Tesla architecture, and especially the new Ampere architecture that's available on OCI it gives our partners confidence that that application will be available at all times. How has SFEI been impacted by the performance that Connecticut have brought to uh, Our algorithm is locked into a single GPU instance, but that means that we can leverage parallel computations for running multiple experiments at a given time. We have various milestones that we're trying to get to, and it gives us the best opportunity to achieve higher accuracy, to do the parameter tuning that usually is you know, just not possible or feasible with my single GPU on my desktop at SFEI. Jacob, why do drone image analytics workloads require GPUs and high performance computing technology? So-called multispectral cameras, which are producing data from multiple bands at the same time. We create up to six images at the same time, which we need to analyze and make some conclusions on. But the thing is that it further requires some pre-processing where you have to pre-process the images, then align those images on top of each other before you can actually do some conclusions on those. How does Kinetica enable algorithm to do more? In a lot of these image analytics workloads, popular deep learning frameworks are being used like TensorFlow and PyTorch. And you're gonna see huge performance gains uh, in both hyperparameter tuning and model training, but also that downstream inferencing. If you identify the trash within these images, for example, if it takes you 18 days to churn through that image set, the probability of the trash still being in that location is probably uh, pretty low. If you look at uh, SFEI, and it took a little over 32,000 images, 17 and a half days to get through. By deploying this on Oracle Cloud infrastructure, we actually replicated and distributed this model across eight V100s. And we took the same exact workload and that brought that down to 18 and a half hours. Nick, from just the, the commercial sense, what are the costs look like in being able to process that in a day versus in 17 days? This is an awesome question. As your volumes are increasing and your SLAs are getting more demanding, you can either just continue to scale up and out and you're gonna incur these astronomical costs. Whereas, again, something Jacob really mentioned is using that distributed capability of the GPU to churn through these images I think really can consolidate a lot of that infrastructure and save our partners on costs there. I really look forward to, uh, to continuing to work with each of your organizations. Thank you very much for your time.